Are SMGs useless in Call of Duty Cold War? That's the question of today's video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ivan the German is back and today's video is about SMGs. Are they valuable? Can we use them? Is it meta? And what is all around and all about the SMGs in Call of Duty Cold War? So, my source is Optic Envoy and he's the main SMG player in his team and he made a quote that SMGs are useless and not valuable uh, in the current state of the meta for a competitive perspective, I would say, because he mentioned that after a tournament in New York or Chicago, I guess, and they played against a full squad with AKs. And in my opinion, the AK is the best rifle in the game right now, or one of the best rifles in the game right now, top three. And I made a video about the AK. Check this out, definitely check the AK out. You have to play the AK, it's pretty strong, but that's, that's another topic, let's jump today into the SMG fraction and the SMGs in my opinion are especially if you play public they are pretty strong why because you are so agile and you can run around you can do this but you know or you have to know how you are doing it and I am I don't know what the the thing is if I see a lot of console players they don't playing with ninja they I don't know they're playing way way different compared to PC and I don't know why that's the case but I saw the Optic Envoy's SMG or AKSU loadout and I'm not agreeing with his loadout. I'm going to do a video about the AKSU and for me that worked perfect. It's pretty strong and one of my recent builds of the AKSU and you need a very high weapon level to play around with this build. And I will try Envoy's build because he's a pro player and pro SMG player in Call of Duty. That's why I should give it a try. And his argument is that the map design is one of the big difficulties here because you have very straight and very open lines where a lot of head glitches and I would give him that point definitely you have a very very much head glitches where you can hide behind and an AK or QBZ or M4 if you play competitive and you have to hold a specific point will outgun you by far but and I think with the right setup you can handle or you can deal with it, especially if you look at public matches. In public matches the AUK and the M16 are pretty dominant, pump guns are annoying of course, but you can handle with the right setup, um, you can do a lot of stuff. The MP5 got nerfed a little bit, but in my opinion it's pretty good and pretty strong. Um, on PC, as I said, a lot of guys on console told me that the KSP is pretty strong on PC. I'm not getting warm with it. I, in my opinion, it's pretty weak because you have to aim correctly and you don't have that kind of assist or support or whatever. I'm feeling more confident, confident with a fully automatic MP or SMG to handle it with my opponents. That's why I'm not sure what's what I'm doing wrong with the KSP, but I will figure it out on my road to Diamond for SMGs. But with my AKSU build, I did a lot of damage, man, Jesus. I, yesterday I played, the, I reached maximum weapon level with the AKSU and I thought, man, that's, that's gonna so broke. I, I thought it's even a bug or not right what's wrong with this gun because it's so strong. And we will see that, I guess, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the AKSU day because I'm going to play it today. Maybe I can reach gold today for my second MP on gold then. Because right now I'm not sure which gun I'm going to play gold. Because I want to show you so much stuff from Call of Duty Cold War. And that's why I thought I'm going to make this video because the weapons overall are very good and very balanced. But in my opinion, I would say the assault rifles are a bit stronger. If you check out the Krieg, the M4, the QBZ, the AK, pretty strong guns. On the other hand, you have the MPs. The MP5 is nice, but yeah, they balance it a little bit. The AK is you strong. Milano, you can handle, you can make it to have a good weapon, but it's a little bit weaker. And then you have the KSP, which is also a little bit weak, but the Bison is also a very good SMG. So, so as you can see, you have like 
a little bit more points going to the AR fraction, but I would say the SMGs can be strong with the right build or the right way to play it. And that's the problem, in my opinion, with pro player or with like tournament um, statements or after tournament statements. Because in my opinion, the first thing is there's a big difference between console and PC in terms of meta and gameplay. And in my opinion, it's sad that we PC players don't have such a leak right now and the big problem is of course the player base sure we have this ps4 or ps sony exclusive activision stuff of course and not so much pc players so that's why we have a lot of lot of problems as pc players in my opinion a lot of other games are are handling that a little bit better because they have a different player base but that's a topic for another video i would say if you're interested in let me know. But in my opinion, as I said, SMGs are pretty strong and I would recommend go with some SMGs, play some ARs and check out what's nice or what's working for you. Right now I'm playing the QBZ also because it's laser man that's beaming the enemies into the universe if you're doing your stuff right. But you have to be careful with such statements from pro players or you have to read them correctly. And I would say Call of Duty has some different problems. If you check the flag jacket perk, shotguns and all that stuff, it's a way bigger problem. Uh, SBMM, map design, you have to check these points first before you go into this um, ARs or SMGs or whatever is useless in the game because they, that's not true and but it's like or that's what a pro player thinks about what's right and i am not a pro player right now i played a lot modern warfare 2 we played many many tournaments and had good time but that's a different time right now it's call of duty cold war on pc and i would say that there's a big difference I would give it a point that the AK is pretty strong and I can understand why you're using the AK in a tournament situation. But for public, check out SMGs, you can have a lot of lot of good time. And the other thing is go if you're running around, play ninja because the steps are so loud. I don't get it why a pro player on console is not playing ninja, as I said at the beginning. Because if you're facing your equal level, they will hear you and they will they will boost you into the universe you're gone you can the steps and noises are everything even if you play with ninja they will hear you if you're crouching around or jumping on a ladder or whatever they will hear you and they will shoot you that's my pc experience with noises noises are everything and you have to be very careful even that's why i play suppressor because if i'm not playing suppressed guns they will hear me and that's why i'm playing my smgs most of the time uh, with a silencer. It's a hard time because we have this minus effective range and all of that stuff. But I will mention that in my specific best gun build video. So if you like what you see, give a like to this video to show the world we Germans can win at least something. If you're interested in more Call of Duty or shooter stuff, check out those next videos. See you next time, guys.